What is going on everybody, Estas here, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be doing an overall market update, taking a look at the Dow Jones, the S&P 500, and the NASDAQ. We're also going to be doing a trading update, talking about what I personally did today in the stock market, as well as talking about three stocks in particular that I'm looking to swing trade here, heading into the month of October in 2019. So if you guys find value in this video, if you enjoyed this video, if you find Find it helpful feel free to go down below hit that like button consider subscribing if you want to see further content for me involving the stock market trading and investing this is the channel for you and without further ado guys let's get right into it starting off here with the SPX so at the time that I'm recording this video with around 23 minutes left in the trading session we're currently pretty flat in the markets in terms of the SPX up only 61 cents trading at around $3,007. If we zoom in a bit here to the one day, one minute, you guys can see we hit a peak roughly at about 3020, which if we zoom out again, you can see that is a resistance roughly at that all time high that we experienced a couple months back in the S&P. So this is a bit worrisome that we are getting rejected here, um, you know, heading into the close of the market right now, which in my opinion could be leading to a potential pullback to 29 90 um, to retest that level of support which has been a strong support over the past couple of weeks here on the S&P 500 going to the Dow Jones this one's currently red as well down 30 cents down 0.11 percent you guys can see here just like the S&P the Dow is struggling right at those all-time highs at around $27,400 so this could be a sign showing us um, that this may be going back Back down to retest the upcoming support, which is around $26,900 to around $27,000. So going to the NQ right now, this is the only green one. Actually, the S&P just turned green right now, um, but the, the NQ is up $9, up 0.11%, and it does seem like it is holding successfully that old resistance from back in April to May of 2019 as a new support right now, which is at around 78 dollars so the fact that we're holding that, we're also holding that 50 SMA, this one could be going up to retest, let's say, 79.95, maybe $8,000. And you guys can see if I zoom out a bit, the all-time high here is around 8051 So again, if we reach this resistance, we break out, that's going to be a huge breakout. We may be going to all-time highs at that point. So overall, that's what the markets are looking like right now, guys. They're pretty flat you know that they're barely up you know they're barely down they're barely up they're like right at that you know you know, the, the, the level that they closed at yesterday pretty much and this is interesting because if we go back to the S&P we actually opened up the day pretty strong today. This morning, I thought that there was going to be potential to break into the all-time highs as we did gap up from yesterday's close. So initially, I was very, very um, interested in seeing, you know, are we going to gap out, break out all-time highs? You guys can see we didn't do that, which is showing me in the short term now, again, like I said, you know, this could be pretty bearish for the S&P, especially if it breaks this 50 SMA, which is... Is this green line here on this 20 day one hour chart so that's a key technical spot um, on the S&P if we do break that 29.90 is the next support level like I mentioned a couple of minutes ago if we're going to the Dow very quickly let's break down some smaller time frames you can see right now the Dow is actually breaking below that 50 SMA which is not too good of a sign that could be the sign that we're going down to maybe 27,000 flat to around 26 thousand nine hundred dollars like I said and if you go back to that one day one minute on the Dow you can see we gapped up aggressively this morning we hit a high at about 27 272 which is really about a hundred points below the all-time high and at this point I was thinking we may be going all-time highs today right we may be pushing that limit but again we got rejected and we started to downtrend which is not too good uh, in, in terms of uh, a bullish standpoint now right the bullish standpoint they would obviously want 
us to be breaking out of these resistance levels. So at this point, the bears are taking over on an intraday perspective here on the one day, one day, uh, one day, one minute rather for the Dow Jones. If we're going to the NASDAQ very quickly, guys, before we do talk about what I ended up doing today in terms of trading, you can see, you know, again, on the 184 hour, we already talked about that. We're holding that 50 SMA. That's good. On the 20 day, one hour, we're also holding that. And it seems like we got rejected by that resistance. Distance, as you can see um, on a closer basis here, which is not too good. The bulls would have wanted us to break out here into the 8,000s. We didn't get that. So as of now, guys, although we are, you know, holding that 50 SMA on both the four and one hour chart, if we go to the intraday chart, the bears are taking over right now, unless we do end up doing something like this in the last 18 minutes of trading, which if we do, that's going to be very good for the bulls. So overall right now, that's what I'm looking at in terms of the markets, in terms of some key technicals. If you have any insights, guys, feel free to go drop them down below in the comments section. The markets are interesting, right? Because we got, you know, these interest rate cuts yesterday, 25 basis points. I figured that the market already had them priced in, so I didn't think the market was going to fly up, which it really didn't because, again, we're flat right now. So at this point, I'm just interested in seeing how this reacts. You know, are we going to dump? Are we going to sell the rate cut news like we did last time we got a rate cut. These are some things that are going through my mind. And again, I would love to know what you guys have to think about that down below in the comments section. So let's talk about what I traded today, which is PayPal, guys. Um, one of our Discord members, um, and the Discord link is down below in the description box for those of you guys that are interested. One of our Discord members actually called this one out this morning. Um, again, ticker symbol PYPL. And from his call out, I was able to break it down, analyze it, and trade it. And it was very, very awesome, a very, very good setup this morning. And I want to talk to you guys about that right now. But if you uh, if you guys didn't catch my video like a couple, feels like a couple weeks ago, where I talked about PayPal breaking these trends, you know, I haven't watched it since, I, I, I would probably say since that video. And I looked back at it and I was like, wow. This really has not recovered yet, but it could be setting up for potential breakout here, which in my opinion this morning, that is kind of what it was setting up to do. Now that we saw the results for the rest of the day, obviously it didn't break out, but this morning it was setting up for that breakout, which if we zoom in very closely here, guys, you can see that it hit the bottom of this wedge, it hit the support of this wedge, and then it started to climb up pre-market heading into the market open so that was very good and when he called that out I think it was like at the market open or something like that, maybe 20 minutes after the market open. You know, at that point, it was starting to trend up, right? And again, we were holding the higher low, holding the bottom of this wedge. So in my eyes, I was thinking this one's starting to climb and it's going to potentially either break out of these moving averages and this resistance of the wedge, which would be extremely bullish, or it's going to get rejected here. It's going to see some resistance and then potentially sell off or maybe just consolidate a little bit and maybe decide tomorrow which way it's going to pick and obviously it did the, the latter half of that you know it, it's really consolidating and struggling right now here but we have another day of trading tomorrow where if it pops guys this could be an insane swing trade which is actually the first swing trade this first stock that I'm looking to swing trade if we do end up getting that breakout and to talk about what I did today if we zoom in a bit closer you know we were gapping up heading into the uh, market close yesterday and pre-market today like I said right take a look at the gap up pre-market. Um, we went from 105. We started to, to trend up there. You know, we ended up getting to 106 at the market open roughly. Then we ended up selling off, testing that 50 SMA here. And I actually took a position, I believe it was at around 106.24, guys. 106.24. And then all of a sudden, this thing started riding that 50 SMA like I expected. Because again, if we go back to that four hour chart, at this point in time, this is the trend. It's going up like this. So I figured this has a really good chance to touch up here because, again, that's the resistance of the 50 SMA and the top of that wedge, and it filled that gap 
perfectly and that was actually where I wanted to sell this initially because I knew if I wanted to swing trade this I would have to wait for that breakout and since we weren't at that point yet I didn't want to force a swing trade when the technicals weren't pointing to a good swing trade quite yet but I did realize and analyze this one as having good day trade potential which again like I said is what I ended up doing so I got in again 106.24 I believe to be exact and then honestly I ended up just selling up here um, as we started to get into the 106.70s because at that point you know I didn't have a lot of money tied up into this but I was up around like 0.4 or something 0.3.4 more towards the 0.4 percent side and that was a very quick you know in and out it was around like a 20 30 minute day trade at that point where I realized that we were getting to the top of that resistance I wanted to just take the profits and then again like I said wait tomorrow to see how this level ends up playing out are we going to break out of that wedge and if we were to break out again that's where I'm looking to take that first swing trade so on that note guys that is the first stock that I'm looking to swing trade believe it or not it's paypal and that's what i ended up doing in terms of trading paypal today so let me know down below what are you guys doing in terms of trading any swing trading um that you did today are you buying any stocks to swing trade are you day trading let me know down below in the comments i'd love to know so paypal waiting for this one to break out the second stock that i'm looking to swing trade here which is another one that we talked about in the discord chat is alibaba guys the good old chinese company Alibaba, ticker symbol BA. BA. So today, Alibaba ended up breaking a key resistance at around $178. This was critical because you can see over the past couple of weeks, there's been a resistance at this point, literally five separate occasions. Once here, twice here, three times here, four times here, then five times. The fifth time was literally five, six days ago. And then we retested it today, or was that yesterday? Let me just double check that. We retested it, yep, today. Um, really towards the end of the day yesterday we broke out and then today we fully broke out and now we're just in another channel as a whole from around $180 you can see here all the way up to around $188 and this is actually looking very good for a re-entry on BABA I didn't trade BABA today I know a bunch of people in our group did but well, hear me out on this guys this pullback from 184 which it ran to 184 today believe it or not and it's trending all the way back into the 180s which is quite the pullback which is why i'm saying this could be a nice sweet juicy entry here if it ends up holding the 180s or rather not the 180s may the 180 dollar price point so you can see 184 now we're pulling down to 180 184 is in the middle of that channel so the fact that we are getting this pullback, it's like a blessing in disguise. So I'm looking to see if we hold 180 tomorrow. You know, if we consolidate a couple of days, that's okay too. But ultimately, I want to see, are we going to hold it and then slowly start to pop up? And, you know, you see this other trend line here that I drew, drew out, right? You know, we popped out of the top of the wedge, which is an also very bullish. You know, this is actually an example of the stock breaking out of the top of the wedge as, as opposed to PayPal, which hasn't yet. You know, we broke out of the top of that wedge, and now we may be pulling down to retest the wedge as a support, you know, the top of the wedge, as well as that overall 178, 180 level as a support, which is another good sign. So that's just kind of what I'm watching at this point on BABA. If we zoom in a bit, you know, you can see on the hourly chart here, the 20 day, one hour, you know, we could be pulling down to maybe 180. Again, you can see the double top here was at 180, right? We may be pulling down to that 50 SMA even, or maybe even that 180 SMA if we do end up breaking below 180. Either way, you know, I think 176 to around 180 could be a good entry point right around this area here, this general zone, and that's kind of what I'm waiting for here. I'm going to be very patient, and once it does start to pull down there, if it starts to show some confirmation of support, a pop, you know, maybe some consolidation, I might consider a position, and of course, I'll let you guys know. And the purpose of me calling out these stocks guys talking about them in the videos it's not for you to just go out there and blindly buy them that's just not the purpose whatsoever it's for you to kind of see how i do my technical analysis and apply that to 
your trades, but to also see what I'm looking to trade, my reasoning behind it, so you can also take that and apply it to your own trades as well. And if you understand what I'm trading, you know, you understand Baba, PayPal, whatever it may be, go ahead and trade them for yourselves. But the whole, the whole purpose here is for you not to just blindly follow me or anybody at that point, right? You should be relying on yourself being a self-sufficient trader, investor, and honestly, in every area in life, you know, other than trading and, and investing in stocks, right? You should be like that in every area of your life. So the third one that I'm watching, and my phone keeps buzzing right now. Let me just, um, um, uh, uh, what's it called? Turn this off for you guys. But the third one that I'm looking at is Facebook, ticker symbol F. B and the movement on Facebook today, and especially how it seems like it's looking to close, this is very attractive in my opinion. If we zoom out a bit to the 184 hour, this is yet again another stock that is in a wedge, right? Just like PayPal. Just like Baba, Facebook is in a wedge right now. A good sign we got is we broke out of that 180 SMA. That was an initial good sign that we got a couple of days ago. We're seeing a bullish cross, which is a, the second good sign, honestly, which is the 50 SMA, this green line, crossing above the 180 SMA, which is the yellow line. In every time frame that you see, when the smaller SMA crosses above the, the larger SMA, that's a bullish sign, guys. So we're seeing two good signs here in terms of Facebook. The third sign I want to see ultimately, and I've been saying this, guys, in these videos, is a break above 190, 191, roughly that area, and a hold at that area as a new support. This is what we need to see. And from there, we may get some consolidation. You know, we may get some, even a pullback to 190, a retest, maybe a pop-up from there to 191 again, just some overall consolidation, but the idea from here would be that we start to trend up into the mid-190s, maybe the high 190s, even into the 200s, guys. That's kind of my trajectory right now from a technical perspective on Facebook if we do end up popping and doing exactly what I just said. So this one's going to require a bit more patience, in my opinion, just due to the way it's been trending, right? It hasn't been moving much. Actually, no, that's a lie. From 180 to 190. 189 that's a that's actually a big move what am i saying but i feel like over the past couple of days not really the past three weeks but the past couple of days this area general area from 190 to around 185 it's kind of just been hovering here not doing much so i would love to just see that price pop to the top here um that's just overall what i'm waiting for on facebook and any positive catalyst too if, if one were to come around there's a bunch right now with facebook involving um, the cryptocurrency Libra, right? I know a lot of you guys know about that. That's pretty positive. You know, if another catalyst came along, pop that stock price up from a technical basis, that is all we need to see. And then from there, it could be flying up to 205, again, 210, maybe 215, which is that high that we saw a couple months ago back in July of 2019. So overall, guys, those are the three stocks, Facebook, PayPal, and good old Alibaba, ticker symbol B-A-B-A. -A. So let's talk about very quickly now. Let's run through gold. Let's run through natural gas. See what those are looking like. Crude oil. I kind of want to do a follow-up on these very quickly before I end off this video. So natural gas right now, it took a cliff dive today. It took a cliff dive. We're trading at around 255 right now. We're down about eight cents today, down about three percent. So now it seems like we are holding 254, 255 as a support. This is a general area that I'm going to be watching for natural gas to hold tomorrow and honestly for the rest of this week and next week. But the bad thing is, guys, we broke the trend, right? We broke that uptrend above the 50 SMA. We clearly dove below that. So this could be free falling for all we know at this point um, in terms of natural gas. And you guys, as you guys can probably guess, 
has been doing very poorly over the past day, two days. It's down 10% today, down about two bucks. So maybe D gas could be a play over these next couple of days, which goes up whenever natural gas goes up. In the case that natural gas does break that 255 level of support. So let's go to slash GC very quickly. You guys can see this one's holding very nicely, 1495. Gold has been showing a strong sign of support at this level. So that's that's pretty attractive in my opinion. You can see we hit that high at 1560. From there, we failed to hold that 180 SMA that we've been talking about in the videos, but we did hold that 1495 support, which is good. And right now, you know, I'm looking for either a dump below 1490, and from there, we can short it by trading JDST, which goes up whenever gold is selling off, you know, and then we could potentially find a support at 1450, you know, or the flip side would be if we were to break above this 50 SMA and this 180 SMA, this could be a bullish sign to potentially trade JNUG, which goes up when gold goes up and when GDX goes up, which is a gold ETF, right? And just to put this in there as well, because I forgot to say for JDST, GDX is what JDST trades based upon, not necessarily gold directly, but GDX does follow gold because it's a gold ETF. So in a sense, it does trade against, uh, or rather, uh, based on gold in a sense, but kind of indirectly, um, just figured to put that out there. So crude oil right now, let's take a look at how that is doing guys, because we, we all know the attack on the Saudi Arabian plants popped gro uh, uh, oil's price up to around 63 bucks. Now it's pulling down, holding that 50 SMA. This is a pretty good sign if you're looking to trade UWT, which goes up whenever gold or rather crude oil is going up. So this could be a sign that if, if crude oil holds that level and starts to pop, you know, this could run from 13. Maybe if crude oil gets back to 62, 63, which I don't know if that's going to happen. But even if it gets to 60, you know, this could run up from where it is now, 13 bucks up to about let's say you know 1450 maybe even like 15 bucks maybe at that point who knows right but either way that's going to be around a 5 10 15 percent margin and back to crude oil guys just to break that down again you know if we break below this point that's going to be critical right if we break below that point we're going to be running down to 56 bucks at that 180 SMA, as that's probably the next major resistance, as well as this point here, I guess you can say $56. Um, that could be where we're going. And then from there, obviously, we could short it by trading DWT, which goes up whenever crude oil is selling off. So that's kind of the rundown for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, if you found value in this video, if you enjoyed how I broke things down, explained everything, feel free to go down below, hit that like button. Again, consider subscribing if you want to see further content involving the stock stock market, trading, investing, news, technical analysis, just everything stock market, guys. This is the channel for you, so subscribe, hit that notification bell, and drop a comment. Let me know what you guys are up to in the markets. What are your thoughts on the markets? I would love to know. So I'll catch you all in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out.